<laughs> nah, you know, for me, it was, it was actually kind of easy for me, man. You know, um, you know, I, I'm really close with, with, with certain people, and, and I don't really go outside of that. You know what I mean? So the same, you know, core group of people that, that came to games during the season, you know what I mean, long before people thought we would be in the Super Bowl, those are the same ones that's, that's here this week. Is it been hectic at all? You know, just trying to get everybody together? Nah, not at all, man. Not at all. Talk about competition. Talk a little bit about how Fletcher like raises the boat, uh, every day you guys. I mean, we. I think it ain't even just Fletcher, man. Every everybody has that about him. You know what I mean? One guy gets a sack, and the next thing you know, it kind of it kind of has that ripple effect. You know what I mean? You see guys just rushing even harder, guys playing even harder. You know what I mean? Because we just we're so competitive with one another. You know, and you got guys in the room like Brandon Graham, Chris Long. You know what I mean? You got. At any time, any one of us can make the play. You know what I mean? So we just have that competition with each other, and we go off of each other. Is hitting Tom Brady any more fun than hitting other quarterbacks? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. You know, uh, it's always it's fun to play against Tom, man. You know, I got a great respect for him. I played him twice when I was in Baltimore. You know, uh, and I, I had my chance to hit him a, a couple really good times, man, and that's when I earned my respect for him. You know, when he, he got up and just shook it off and kept playing, I knew that. I knew this guy was the real deal. There's a lot of talk in New England about uh, yeah. Patrick. Who deserves more credit for the future success, Belichick or Brady? If you had to choose, would you rather play with Brady or play for Belichick? Oh, uh, man, I, I think that that's a tough question. You know, I, I would rather be an eagle. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's I'm, I'm fine with being an eagle, man. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think that uh, they have the right guys in their organization, man. A great coach and a great player. Uh, I was surprised. You know, I, I didn't see it coming. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I know God doesn't make any mistakes, man. You know, uh, I, I was pointed right here to Philadelphia, and, and everything has just been up ever since. You know, I've been happy. You know, I haven't had down days, anything like that, man. And, you know, Howard just welcomed me in with open arms, and so did everybody in the organization and, and, and the players. You know what I mean? So it's been nothing but family since I've been here. When you got here, during the course of the season, was there a moment when you realized that this could be a special team? This could be a I knew it from the day I got here. You know what I mean? Once I got into our locker room and just kind of reading those names on the locker, you know, guys getting traded through the season, you know, guys like Ajayi, you know, coming in, I knew that we had a legit shot, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no doubt, man. You know what I mean? At this point, you know, in the season, uh, I, I think I've felt the best I've ever felt. You know what I mean? Not just uh, with, 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 you know, us going to the Super Bowl and all those type of things, but there's been other seasons late in the season, man. You. You, you, you feel that wear and tear, you know what I mean? But I think Coach Peterson just done a great job with just keeping guys fresh, you know, not even just in the game, but throughout the week, you know, doing whatever's necessary to make sure we're ready for Sunday. You know, he's done a great job. You guys getting after Tom Brady, how key is that? And, and how capable do you guys think you are of disrupting? Um, I mean, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves, man. You know, uh, we, we think we're going to be able to get the job done. You know, whatever we have to do to uh, go in and be able to, you know, dominate the game. But uh, Tom is a great player. He's one of those guys, man. Sometimes it don't matter how many times you hit him. He's just going to get right back up and keep playing. You know what I mean? So uh, we know we got we to have a, a, a tough game in front of us, but we're very confident in ourselves. We're very confident in our preparation. So. Remember most about your beginning back in Lake City, Florida, growing up there? Man, it's country. <laughs> that's what I, that's the biggest thing I remember uh, about about Lake City, man. It's country, it's small, but but that's home. You know what I mean? Uh, as a kid, I moved there from Jacksonville. You know what I mean? At, at a young age, man, and I fell in love with the place. You know, uh, no doubt, that was the first place I ever played football. You know what I mean? That's why all, you know all of my childhood friends are right there in Lake City. My family's in Lake City. You know, uh, I have a ton of uh, love and, and respect for that place. Have a message for the kids back home about dreaming Oh, no doubt, man. You know, um, just just stick to it, man. You know, whatever it is, you know that that's your dream. You know, anything is possible. You know what I mean? Don't never let nobody count you out.